By the summer of 1943, the Italian position was hopeless. Northern and Eastern Africa had been lost. The northern Italian cities were being regularly bombed. War production was minimal and morale had collapsed. So too had the fascist regime, which could no longer command any obedience. Court circles began sending out allied terms, which of course included the removal of Mussolini. In July 1943, the allies invaded Sicily, and within a few weeks they controlled the island. On July 24th till 25th, the fascist Grand Council met in Rome for the first time since the beginning of the war and passed a motion asking the king to resume his full constitutional powers, that is, to dismiss Mussolini. In a dramatic decision, a substantial majority of the members voted against the dues. The king dismissed Mussolini the same day and installed Marshal Pietro Badoglio, an elderly World War I veteran who had fought in Ethiopia, as prime minister. Spontaneous demonstrations followed throughout the country, in which statues of Mussolini were torn down, fascist symbols removed and political prisoners released. The army took over the key positions in Rome. The deuce was arrested and the main fascist institutions, including the fascist party, were dissolved. In April 1945, when Mussolini found out that the Nazis were negotiating a surrender with the Allies, he attempted to flee to Switzerland with his girlfriend, Clara Petacci. However, both of them were captured and shot dead by Italian partisans. 